I had two experiences that blew my mind. And the first was uh, from my English teacher, God lover, Monica Maye. And she, uh, we were reading Twelfth Night, I believe. And uh, we were all sitting at our little desks reading it and she was reading it aloud to us. And she said, okay, great. Okay, now get up and read it. What? Get up and read it. And, uh, and that was sadly not done as much as it should be done um, because that's, that's how you fall in love with it. And uh, you know, I know people my age and older who will say, oh, you're doing a Shakespeare play. Oh, well, have fun with that. I'm not gonna go see you in that because um, I don't really do Shakespeare, but, but have fun with that. And it makes me so sad because I think, oh, your English teacher <laughs> didn't do the job that they were supposed to do. Um, and that was to show you uh, what worlds it can open up, you know. And the next was Ian McKellen doing a per performance of Acting Shakespeare. And at the very, I think it was the end, maybe it was the middle, he walks down to the edge of the stage and he sits down and he tells everybody to turn to the, this is at the Kennedy Center, he tells everybody to turn to the back of their program and he read, uh, Romeo, Romeo, wherefore art thou Romeo? Deny thy father and refuse thy name, or if thou wilt not, blah, blah, blah. And as he read it, he paraphrased it for us. And, uh, and this is what, you know, this is what Aaron Posner asks us to do when we're acting um, it, which is, you know, do you understand what you're saying? Because um, it is just English. And if I understand it, Bet I can make you understand it too. Um, and that was that was eye-opening as well to not be frightened of it um, because God, if you you're just missing out. So many stories, so many beautiful stories.